Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Si awit kayo sa Panginoon, Alleluia. Magsilawit sa Panginoon, Udihin, udihin ang kanyang pangalan. Magsilawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsilawit sa Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate this Eucharist in celebrating the 500th anniversary of the first baptism that happened in Cebu. And we thank the Lord for the gift of faith given to our country 500 years ago. And so in this celebration of the Eucharist, as we thank the Lord, let us also ask our Lord Jesus to encounter Him in faith in this Eucharist. To prepare ourselves, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask Him for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported. We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. The praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in this Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man 
who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For uh, those who have been celebrating Mass with us for the past days, we have been uh, reading continually from the third chapter of the Gospel according to John, wherein we see this beautiful conversation, this beautiful dialogue, between Jesus and Nicodemus. Siguro po ay uh, sa mga sumusunod sa amin sa ating mga araw-araw na pagmimisa, mapapansin po ninyo na nitong mga nakaarang araw ay binasa, binabasa po natin ang ikatlong kabanata mula sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan. Ang pag-uusap ni Jesus at ng isang guro sa sinagoga, si Nicodemo. And in this beautiful dialogue that I hope we would return to every day and pray and reflect about, in this beautiful conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus, you would see slowly Jesus is trying already to reveal himself. In the first part of the conversation, 
Nicodemus was trying to ask about the law, the commandments, because this is the concern of uh, Judaism, of the Old Testament, following the law, following the commandment as revealed by God in Moses, the prophets, and the other kings, and in history. But slowly, Jesus is now revealing himself to Nicodemus as the only begotten Son of God. Makikita po natin sa Ebanghelyo natin ngayong araw na pinapakilala na ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili kay Nicodemo. Kaya ang ginamit niyang salita sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Ang bugtong na anak ng Diyos, nag-iisa na anak ng Diyos. And we can see also here that Jesus is trying to impress to Nicodemus that when you are able to encounter the only begotten Son of God as He comes down from heaven, then He said, the Son will not condemn the world, but He will save the world. Kapag po pala tayo ay natagpuan na natin si Jesus, ang bugtong na anak ng Diyos ay mababago ang ating buhay. A life that should be condemned because of sin and evil will be saved through the life that is given to us by Jesus. Kaya po sana sa araw na ito ay alalahanin po natin ang itinuturo ni Jesus kay Nicodemo na si Jesus bilang bugtong na anak ng Diyos ay dumarating para iligtas ang ating buhay mula sa kasamaan, mula sa kadiliman, mula sa paggawa ng kasinungalingan at hindi mabuti. A life that is in Jesus is filled with truth, with light, with life. But according to our gospel reading today, if you are not in Jesus, then your works will be works of darkness, of evil, of lies. Ngayong araw po ay pinagdiriwang natin ang ikalimang daang taon ng unang pagbibinyag sa Cebu at ipinagkaloob ang imahen ng Santo Nino de Cebu. We are celebrating and commemorating this when Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, was first preached in Cebu. Our first ancestors were able to hear the faith, the preaching of the faith in Cebu. Ito po ay pinagpapasalamat natin sapagkat sabi nga ni Jesus, dumating ang anak ng Diyos para iligtas tayo mula sa kasamaan upang tayo ay dalhin sa kabutihan. Limang daang taon na po ang nakararaan. Limang, daon, limang daang taon na ang nakalipas. Tayo ba bilang mga Kristiyano at Katoliko ay sumusunod kay Jesus sa kabutihan o tayo ay nakukulong pa rin sa kasamaan? In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see the difference between the apostles, those who follow the name of Jesus, and the Pharisees, the Sadducees, those who oppose the name of Jesus. 
we can see that the group of the apostles, even if they are imprisoned, they are persecuted, still, they preach the name of Jesus, they forgive their persecutors, they do good to others, they help the poor in the community. But we can see on the other side, those who oppose the name of Jesus, the Sadducees and uh, the Pharisees, they were filled with jealousy, they uh, laid hands upon the apostles, they imprisoned the apostles, they persecuted and said bad things about the apostles. Makikita po natin ang pagkakaiba ng sumusunod kay Jesus at ang mga tao na kinakalaban si Jesus. Ang sumusunod kay Jesus ay punong-puno ng pagpapahayag ng mabuting balita, gumagawa ng kabutihan sa mga mahihirap, nagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan. Yung mga tao na kinakalaban si Jesus, sabi sa unang pagbasa, filled with jealousy, ingitero, ingitera. Nananakit ng kapwa, they laid hands upon the apostles. They put them in the jail. They said bad things against the apostles, naninira ng kapwa. Yan pala ang mga kalaban ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, yes, we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in our country, but do we really have Jesus in our lives? Do we really follow the teachings of our Lord Jesus? As we thank Jesus, the only begotten Son who came to this world, who even came to our country, and now 500 years after, we are one of the biggest Catholic countries in the world. Do we really have Jesus in our hearts and in our lives? Do we really follow the light of Jesus? Do we really follow the example of the teachings and life of our Lord? Let us thank the Lord for the gift of the 500 years of faith. But more importantly, let us examine, do we really give our yes to God's mission? Amen. With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For every petition, let us say, in the name of Jesus, bless us. In the name of Jesus, bless us that the church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God let us pray to the Lord. In the, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus 
bless, bless us. us. That our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. us. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full, full of, of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite everyone tonight, our Wednesday evening praying of the Healing Rosary for the World. And we will be led by the Augustinian community from the Basilica Minore de Santo Nino de Cebu. 
And uh, as we commemorate today the first baptism that happened in the island of Cebu, we would like to invite you to pray the healing rosary tonight uh, in front of the venerated image of uh, the Santo Nino de Cebu. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia, Quia Quemeruisti Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexi, Sicudixi, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deu. Alleluia.